Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today I want to show you around our 2008 Four Winds H200 Frenzy. This is a 20 foot bow rider. It's a factory wakeboard edition with a wakeboard tire, graphics pack, a um, bunch of different features um, that make this boat really suitable for uh, as a water sports platform. It's fitted with a Mercruiser 4.3 litre MPI engine and this boat has only run 38 hours from new. It is virtually like brand new. Although it was built in 2008, it wasn't sold until 2011 um, and it's virtually unused. The whole package is, uh, is, is like a new boat. So given that she's in fantastic condition, super low hours and it's been sold with a full three month warranty because it's one of our stock boats, um, it's great value for money. It's like buying a new boat but at a huge saving off a uh, list price. So we're going to take a walk around the boat, we're going to show you the features on board, show you the condition this one's in, put it through its paces in the water and just give you a better idea of whether this might be the right boat for you. I absolutely love getting my hands on stock like this because it's just about as good as a used boat can get with um, such low wires on it and such little use. This is like a, it's just like a showroom boat. The, 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 the H200 um, Frenzy edition is four winds, uh, factory wakeboard pack. So it's up. the first thing you notice is the, the striking graphics pack. So it has this like splash graphics down the side of it, um, all done in the factory, which complements the off-white gel really nicely. Lovely vibrant blue color. There's a set of matching blue covers to go along with it as well, tongue cover and bow cover. And um, as you can see, the condition of the exterior of the boat is completely um, perfect. Down along this port side, there's not a single mark or scuff that I have to point out here. The whole thing is in perfect condition. Got these stainless steel pop-up cleats, stainless steel rub rail insert, these uh, chrome uh, model identifiers on this boat as well. Um, the graphics are all completely unmarked, both above and below the rub rail. Um, and the whole thing, is, uh, is just a fabulous shape, really does look the part of this boat. Coming down along the, the starboard side then as well, it's in perfect condition, looks great. Four Winds are, are, are they have a great reputation, reputation as a high quality brand and um, you really do notice that from, you know, from all the stainless steel details and things. Um, Tailor made windscreen, um, the quality of the fit and finish inside the boat. It really does come across that it's a, a, a super high quality boat. There's a couple of very, very minor things I have to point out on this side of the boat. We've got one little um, scuff here in this. This is a factory paint finish on top of the gel as part of the graphics pack. We just didn't really want to rub too hard at this to, to mop that out because there's a danger of potentially going through the paint there. But I mean, you have to be looking really close. If I, if I didn't point that out, I would say even on a walk around this boat, you probably wouldn't see it. And then the other thing is, on the wakeboard tire, this aluminium factory wakeboard tire, the whole tire is in great condition, very solid and everything. But we've just got some light scuff marks here from, I'd say the boat was maybe put, brought against a jetty and there's been a post or something that's rubbed against this a little bit. Um, but again, super minor cosmetic issue. You really wouldn't notice that on a, even on a pretty close inspection of the boat. And apart from that, there's, I literally have nothing else to talk about that's anyway negative about this boat. Apart from those two small things, this is like a, a brand new boat. This boat is just under 20 feet long and it's um, just under, I think it's 8 foot 4 inches wide. So it's a nice, it's a big bow rider, um, but it's still a manageable size. So it's easy to tow, easy to launch and recover and things. But whenever you're inside, you get tons of space in it. Um, and it's rated to carry, I think, up to seven passengers on the, on the sea plate. Um, as a water sports boat, Obviously the transom is important that you get this right and um, I think they've done a great job on this on the H200. So we've got a, a nice big deep integrated um, swim platform, extends right across the, the stern. We've got this, all these four winds boats always have these really deep boarding ladders. So this is a four step boarding ladder so it makes getting in and out of the boat really easy. Really easy. And there's also a hand, an integrated hand hold here in the, uh, the lid for the, the swim ladder storage. On top of the platform then, we've got this rubberized deck. So the benefit of this is it's non-skid, but it also means that you protect the, uh, 
the fiberglass, the gel coat finish from damage from wakeboards or water skis or something. So if you're sitting on the swim platform putting on your skis or your wakeboard, this here is going to protect your deck. It's a really common feature from you know your higher end ski boots and stuff. And it, it pops down in. So if you if you want to take it off for any reason, clean underneath the deck and stuff, you can do that. And then underneath here is uh, there's a mold. You know it's non-skid molding on the on the deck there as well. But generally speaking, you're going to want to keep that in place. It really looks the part as well. That nice grey colour complements all the chrome accents and things, and the, and the blue hull colour uh, very well, I think. Um, so. You notice the paint scheme, it sort of fades from a, a white to the front to like solid blue at the back below the waterline. Really unique sort of feature, makes this boat stand out from the crowd. Um, the condition of everything back here is perfect. The boat's never been kept in the water, never been anti-foiled, and the, the whole bottom uh, looks as good as the rest of the boat. It's like, it's like brand spanking new. We've even got the, the factory warning sticker that the boat's been winterized prior to shipping. I mean, even the fact that this is still on, they, they stick that on in the factory before they leave. That's the first thing that owners tend to pull off. You know, it, it looks just like it's left the factory last week. The stern drive is a Meracruiser Alpha 1 that's matched up to a 4.3 liter MPI fuel injected engine. So it's making 220 horsepower and um, gives it a really good turn of speed. Obviously, with being a fuel, con fuel injected engine, it's turn key, start and run and all that sort of stuff. And the, the stern drive is in absolutely pristine condition. There's not a single spot of rust on it anywhere. The anodes look like they're brand new. Still got the part numbers here that you can see in the anodes. Again, that's, these are the original anodes. It shows she's never been in the water. And um, the prop and everything is in great shape. And just all around the, uh, the mechanicals, the mechanics in this, in this whole boat, with only 38 hours running time, they're like brand new. This boat was sold by the Northern Ireland dealer for Four Winds at the time, so it's a proper UK boat. It's a full UK specification, it's CE certified, category C, rated to hold seven people plus gear. And as part of that UK spec, she comes on this SPS twin axle trailer. Um, so it's a fully brake trailer, it's in brilliant condition as well because it's, I think it's been in and out of the water maybe three or well, half a dozen times or something. Um, but the brakes are working perfectly. The wheel bearings, the tires, everything is perfect on it. And you can easily tow this boat anywhere through England or Europe on that trailer. Um, not a problem. So it means if you're looking at this boat for further afield, the, the delivery of it's going to be really simple because you've got such a good trailer there um, to, to take it on. So as well as having the wakeboard tire with high level tow point for pulling wakeboarders from, You've also got this low level ski tool point down on the transom as well. So if you're pulling at somebody on a you know, mono ski or something or a, um, a water toy inflatable or something, you can use that, that tool point there. Um, so you've got this four winds name badge across the back. It's all in great condition. Um, we've got a huge big sun pad across this, the, the full width of the, the stern of the boat. And we've got this fold in section that lifts up to reveal a, a transom walkthrough with a wee bit of carpet and matting here so you can climb into the boat without having to clamber over seat cushions. That's a great little touch. Lots of people like that because it just means that the, the longevity of the, the cushions around the back of the boat are going to stand up. Um, you know, they're going to last you a lot longer than if you're climbing over them continually with shoes on and stuff like that. It tends to really take its toll on those cushions. Um, so this one with that walkthrough means you don't have that problem. So whenever you come through the transom walkthrough with this uh, sun pad lifted up, you can also pull out the seat cushion from the starboard side of this uh, aft bench, and that gives you a molded in step to get access uh, down into the cockpit. Then whenever everybody's inside the boat, you just pop that cushion back in position. This folds down completely flat, and you've got a full width bench across the, uh, the aft end of the, the cockpit that'll easily accommodate four adults, no problem. We've got a swiveling, um, helm seat and passenger seat, both of these have flip up bolsters and so you can turn them both around to face the, 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 the back seat if you're sitting having drinks or a conversation on board um, and they can face forward whenever you're underway and then we've got a really big bow area up here as well that we'll take a look at in a minute but you can easily sit another couple of adults up there um, so you really get a sense of the space on board this boat, I mean the, the width of it really does feel like it's more than eight foot four inches wide. I mean, even the space between the two consoles up the front 
you know, with the access up out to the bow there. This feels, this is sort of similar to what you get on like a 24 foot bow rider. So really, um, they've done an excellent job of maximizing the space on board here. And in terms of the quality of the finish, it's immediately apparent, you know, from the little colored uh, piping accents on the upholstery, the quality and feel of the upholstery, the quality of these carpets, these lovely beige, or sorry, brown sort of carpets, and the color accents in the, in the seats and stuff, and all the stainless steel, fit, you know, fixtures and fittings from the steering wheel to the handrails, to the cup holders, little stainless steel trim edging around the lower um, panels and the gunnels and stuff, the whole thing has a really high-end feel um, and it's in, it's in fantastic condition. It is like brand new. There's, I don't have a single defect or flaw to point out in here. The whole thing is just like, uh, like brand new. All the seating in the cockpit of this boat is quite low set so you feel like you're sitting down inside the boat and with the curved windscreen um, you get really good protection from the elements. You can on a windier day or you know you can close over the, uh, the center opening section of the windscreen, put on the bow cover at the front, and that stops any draft of air coming through here. So you can sit in here in, um, in comfort. You're not getting buffeted by the wind. You can have a conversation with all the other passengers on board, and it's a really nice place to spend time. Um, this, this seat itself is nice and wide, really good backrests and stuff on it. Um, it also doubles up in this sun pad and a, another sun pad. So you, if you just lift this, uh, seat base up and slide the whole thing out. Backrest folds flat and you end up with another sun pad so you've got like this two-tiered sun pad arrangement here. So again if it's a, a blustery day or a bit blowy but the sun's out you can lie down here and you're getting sheltered from the elements and um, I mean, you know it's a, it's a great great setup. There's loads of storage on the boat as well. Um, so underneath this uh, central seat section, there's room for uh, a cool box. Now we do have the cool box. It's not in here at the minute, but it's kicking around here somewhere. So there's a cool box, an igloo cool box stores in there. You'll also notice if you take a close look in here, we've got a wee access panel down into the uh, fuel tank. So this is the fuel sender and the, the fuel filler hose. So I mean, this is usually on, on boats like these, these things are buried away somewhere, not a really hard to get place, and they certainly don't make access as easy as this. So th again, this is just a, a, you know, a feature of the build quality that got the ready access to the, the fuel tank there. Um, there's also additional storage under these other uh, sides of the seat, so if you lift the whole thing up, really beefy hinge arrangements and things here. Everything's in really good condition. More storage boxes on the outboard sides of this uh, this bench seat as well. Um, so there's plenty of room to get all your gear and all the way in there. We've also got two deep cubby holes on the port and starboard gunnels. This one has all the, uh, the paperwork, so the original owner's pack for the boat, all the engine manuals, boat manuals, all that stuff's all there. And then to access the engine bay, this whole sun pad lifts up. So there's a little catch, you just find the catch in here, lift the catch up and the whole thing lifts up on a couple of gas assist struts so you've got really good access to the engine for all your daily checks and, and all your um, you know your more involved maintenance stuff there's storage again down both sides of the uh, the engine bay here it's separated off from the main engine compartment so you can store fenders and life jackets and all that sort of stuff down in there we've got a little dedicated storage spot here for our navigation light the, the anchor light goes on the back of the boat and you'll also see we've got the battery isolator switch lives down in the starboard side there as well so just reach down in there to uh, turn on and off the power to the boat this engine if you get a good look in there it's absolutely immaculate it has um, been serviced it's really only had been due its first service so you see all this white uh, stuff and sprayed around the, the electrical contacts and stuff that's something that the technicians do on the first service with these engines just to prevent any potential corrosion um, to the electrical systems but apart from that the engine looks like it's just left the factory there's no corrosion anywhere the pulleys are all nice and clean the 
all the service checkpoints are, are easily to, easy to access the front of the engine from the gear lube monitor bottle to the engine oil which is hopefully you can see that but the oil is crystal clear um, we are going to give this another service just before it goes just change the oil and filters do the gearbox oil just so you don't have to worry about it for for another year but um, it really doesn't need it and the whole thing the the bilge is immaculately clean um, and the yeah it's just I mean it's only done 38 hours so you would expect it to be in this sort of condition but I really like the the helm position in this boat um, first of all the seat again it's low set steering wheel falls easily to hand there's a tilt position adjust on it as well um, everything has a really nice high quality feel to it from this sort of leather effect wrap on the steering wheel you know this chrome and stainless steel uh, center on the wheel we've got again like a leather effect vinyl type thing on the on the dash these chrome bezels and all the instruments and stuff we've got this little rosewood insert here on the the dash on both the uh, passenger and uh, helmsman side here um, so it, it feels sort of top quality the seats are fantastic they're wrap around uh, bucket seats they've got flip up bolsters as well so if you want to sit looking over the top of the windscreen you can do that um, whenever it's, it's down low you're sitting with a clear view through the screen throttle lever is a standard Mercruiser unit it um, falls easily to hand here on the right hand side and then all the switch gear the, the gauges are all working everything's working perfectly on the boat we've got a Faria digital depth finder we've got our taco which is showing 38 hours on it at the moment um, rev counter we've got a four in one gauge with fuel level volts engine temperature oil pressure and we've got our trim gauge over here as well um, then in terms of the switch gear all the switches the these really you know these positive clicking chrome bezeled switches they're really top quality switches for the engine blower bilge pump they've all got little indicator lights so you can tell whenever the things are on and then the nav whenever you turn on the nav lights you get the backlight comes up on all the instruments we also get this little if you see this little blue glow but above the the switch panel um, it's hard to hard to see in this light but after dark that really does look the part we've got a cubby, big cubby hole here for popping your phone and odds and ends into and then we've got this Sony uh, marine stereo which is again it's working perfectly and it's a great quality As stereo. President Seth Blatter has resigned, Mr. Blatter And they do quite elaborate music, so I think to make it a nice sort of theatrical experience, I think you've got a, a it's a really good sound system on, on the boat actually. And you can flip it down and it's got a front load and CD player in there as well. So again, as you would expect on a boat that's only done 38 hours, everything's in great condition, it's all working perfectly. All the controls, the steer, the throttle and shift, everything's nice and light. Um, and the boat is performing really well but you can see look check out the water test footage now and you see for yourself just how well this boat uh, goes in the water so we'll fire the engine up now and let you hear how it's running and we'll also we're going to put the boat through its paces in the water so you can see exactly how it performs this this engine with 220 horsepower on tap it's fully fuel injected that MPI means multi-point injection so it starts just you know, turnkey start just like your car, automatic choke and fuel enrichment and stuff like that, really smooth running. Um, it gives the boat a really good turn of speed, gets up on the plane really quickly, even with a full load of people on board. Um, that's a perfect match for this hull.
over on the passenger side you've got the exact same sort of seat as the helmsman has flip up bolster and everything we've got um, again high quality console big glove box in here and then down below uh, we've got down in here we've got a really deep like an ice box or something it's, it's lined and drains overboard so if you want to um, fill that with ice before you're heading away for a day on the boat. You can do that or you can whatever, use it for like a wet locker. This integrated uh, stainless steel handrail here. We've got a cup holder down low at uh, my left hand side here. Um, there's also ones to, to do the back seat passengers as well. So um, the whole thing's just really, really well uh, set up. There's a huge ski locker in the floor of this boat also. Um, it opens on a gas assist strut and it's again like everything else it's really big good wide open and so you'll easily fit wakeboards and stuff down in there and it runs right up the length of the uh the floor so you've got plenty of room to get all your uh your stuff stored and out of the way there coming out through to the bow then we come out through this open and windscreen section and the hinges and everything the catches are all in really good shape and like i said this is a, a huge bow um, again, the seats are set nice and low, high backrests on them. We've got integrated stainless steel handrails here. Um, we've also got a couple of integrated uh, stainless steel cup holders as well. There's two speakers up here. The finish is top notch again, the condition's perfect. The upholstery is completely all marked, um, as is the gel coat and the carpet and all that sort of stuff. Um, and it's easily big enough to accommodate two adults or a couple of kids. And because the seats are set nice and low, and you know you've got the integrated handholds and things, you know you're not going to feel you know, you don't feel like you're perched on top of the boat out here. It's, you know it's a comfortable place to sit even whenever you're underway. Underneath the seats, we've got more storage. Um, this is a dedicated anchor locker in here. So this is set up to take a, a standard sort of Danforth style anchor with this cutout, so you can the shank of the anchor can run up there. This has never been used. Um, the uh, previous owner obviously never uh, had an anchor on board or used one. And then these seat cushions, they don't open massively wide, but hopefully you can see in there, these lockers are all fully carpeted. Um, again, they don't look like they've ever been used. And these are on that stainless steel hinges as well. So you don't have to worry about lifting these out of the way and or you know breaking little catches off. They're just on a hinge they lift up. And then we have more storage in behind the, uh, the backrests. So again, both backrests on the port and the starboard side just flip up and give you access into big carpeted lockers. Again, these lockers have definitely never had anything in them. I don't think the, a lot of people don't know about wee cubby holes like that, but again, good for getting valuables and phones and cameras and stuff like that in the way, out of the, out of the way where they're going to be nice and safe and dry. So, yeah, looks really does look the part up here. So that's our Four Winds H200 Frenzy. Boats like this never hang around too long because I know there's so many people want to get a really fresh, young, used boat that is a great saving over the price of a new one, but it's still got bags of life left in it. And this one definitely fits that bill. Being a 2008 model, it was built in 2008, but not, not commissioned until 2011. And with less than 40 hours on the clock, it really is genuinely um, like a new boat. Um, and whenever you compare the cost of these, these things brand new now, where a boat like this, with this spec, on the trailer and all the rest of it, is going to be nudging like £40,000. I mean, this thing's almost half price. And it really is, you know, Opportunities like this are getting rarer and rarer because there have been so few boats like this sold in the last five years. Um, this was literally one of the very last new boats that would have came into Ireland before the whole economy collapsed. Um, and you know the fact it took three years to sell is a testament to that on the first time around. But um, it's certainly not going to take that length of time to sell this time around. So if you like the look of the boat, it's, I mean the spec's great. It's been sold with a full three months warranty. The trailer's in brilliant condition. The, the, the thing is going to be serviced before it goes, um, and it really is going to be you know total peace of mind. Just turn the key and go. Um, so if you're interested in the boat, if you want to come and have a look at it, or if you've got any questions or to arrange a sea trial, just give me a ring or drop me an email, or you can fill out the callback request form on this page of the website, 
and I'll call you at a time that's convenient. Thank you very much for watching.